Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 28 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to learn how to use clipping masks inside of Adobe Illustrator. So in order to use clipping masks, simply what you have to do is you have to create uh, different shapes just like this. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some different colors to this. So let's say I'm going to select red over here and maybe some other colors that's going to apply colors to it that's going to apply colors to it so what i want is i want to apply clipping masks so this is like using off a channel if you're you're actually have used photoshop so what i want to do is i want to do uh, uh you can do it with any shape an elliptical tool clipping mask so what i want to do is i want to uh, use the clipping mask shape at the top of all the other shapes and then I'm going to select all of the shapes just like this right click on the top shape and say and select make clipping mask and once I do that you can see that the all of the other shapes fits inside this uh, little clipping mask shape that I just use and if I were to double click on this and double click on this again you can see that I can actually select the individual shapes and reposition them and if I want to release the clipping mask just go back right click and say release clipping mask and it goes back onto the set uh, original option right there so the clipping mask shape is still there so you can actually select all of them right click and then make clipping mask again uh, to go back to the process over there so that's how you use clipping masks and the, the tool the thing about using clipping masks is whenever you're, you're designing graphics and you're actually really out of bounds then clipping clipping mask can be used to actually uh, bring out the shape so what you have is the clipping mask over here so what I want to do is I want to uh, cover out the entire artboard with the clipping mask shape at the top select all of it right click and then do make clipping mask so that it cuts off the edges so the beauty about the clipping mask is that the original shape is actually still there so you can double click and move them around and once you go out uh, it does has um, it does cut off the edges as well. So that's how you use clipping masks inside of Adobe Illustrator. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.